Your chest should be fill in the blank from the center of the steering column. A. 10 to 12 inches. B. 5 inches. C. 20 inches. A. 10 to 12 inches. Before driving, adjust the driver's seat so you are able to see the pavement 12 to 15 feet in front of your vehicle. Your chest should be located 10 to 12 inches from the center of the steering column and your shoulders should be no lower than the top of the steering wheel. Blind spots are A. Spots in your vision when you become fatigued. B. Areas of the road that cannot be seen in a vehicle's mirrors. C. Traffic control devices. B. Areas of the road that cannot be seen in a vehicle's mirrors. When changing lanes, look over your shoulder in the direction you plan to move. Check for obstructions near the rear corners of your vehicle. These areas are called blind spots because you cannot see them by using your mirrors. At an intersection with stop signs on all corners, yield the right of way to any driver. A. On your left. B. Who arrived before you. C. Across from your vehicle. B. Who arrived before you. After coming to a full stop, vehicles should proceed through a four-way stop in the order in which they arrive to the intersection. If multiple vehicles arrive at the same time, the vehicle on the left must yield the right of way to the vehicle on the right. Which of the following road surfaces freezes first? A. A tunnel. B. An intersection. C. A bridge. C. A bridge. Pavement on bridges and overpasses can become icy even when other surrounding pavement is dry. Bridges often freeze before, and thaw out after, the rest of a road. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Allow extra space in front of your vehicle when following a A. Station wagon B. Passenger vehicle C. Motorcycle C. Motorcycle Allow for extra space when driving behind a motorcycle. Motorcycles can stop more quickly than other vehicles can and you must have adequate room to stop if the motorcyclist brakes or falls off. Also, remember that motorcycles are difficult to see at night because they only have one tail light. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in a business or residential area is A. 15 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 35 miles per hour. C. 35 miles per hour. When driving in a business or residential area, the speed limit is 35 miles per hour. If a different speed limit is posted, follow the posted speed limit. You are coming to an intersection with a flashing red light. You should A. Slow down and yield the right of way. B. Slow down and drive carefully through the intersection. C. Come to a complete stop, check the traffic, and go when it is safe to do so. C. Come to a complete stop, check the traffic, and go when it is safe to do so. A flashing red traffic light means the same thing as a stop sign. You must come to a complete stop, yield to other traffic and pedestrians, and then proceed when it's safe to do so. You want to make a right turn at the corner. A pedestrian with a guide dog is at the corner ready to cross the street in front of you. Before making your right turn, you should A. Turn off your engine until the person crosses the street. B. Tell the pedestrian when to cross the street. C. 
Wait until the person crosses the street. C. Wait until the person crosses the street. Pedestrians using guide dogs or white canes, with or without a red tip, must be given the right of way at all times. If you must park your vehicle in an area not usually used for parking? A. Park with your reverse lights on. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. C. Park 5 feet from the curb. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Drivers are responsible for making sure their vehicles do not become hazards after they have been parked. Wherever you park, make sure your car is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. This sign means A. Yield the right of way. B. No passing zone. C. Reduction in lanes. A. Yield the right of way. A triangular red and white sign indicates that you must yield the right of way. Drivers entering interstate traffic from an acceleration ramp? A. Should yield to drivers already on the interstate. B. Have the right of way. C. May force their way into traffic. A. Should yield to drivers already on the interstate. If you are entering interstate traffic from an acceleration ramp, you should yield to drivers already on the interstate highway. Merge safely into traffic when you are able to do so. Any amount of alcohol in the blood may affect a driver's a. Right-of-way privileges. B. Judgment and physical coordination. C. Knowledge. B. Judgment and physical coordination. A driver's ability to safely operate a vehicle may be impaired at any BAC level, even a level lower than the legal limit. Any amount of alcohol can affect one's judgment and physical coordination. Driving under the influence of even a small amount of alcohol can lead to criminal charges. If a truck or bus is making a right turn where you also need to make a right turn, you should A. Quickly turn before the truck or bus is able to B. Wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn C. Squeeze between the truck or bus and the curb B. Wait until the truck or bus turns before you turn. If you try to insert your vehicle between a turning truck or bus and a curb, you may suffer a serious crash. To avoid a collision, do not turn until the truck or bus has completed its turn. When driving on a slippery surface, such as snow or ice. A. Shift to a low gear before going down steep hills. B. Maintain traction by following other vehicles closely. C. Pump your brakes to keep them from freezing. A. Shift to a low gear before going down steep hills. To prevent skidding on slippery surfaces, you should shift to a low gear before going down a steep hill. You should also follow farther behind the vehicle in front of you than you normally would. Quick stops should be avoided. Unless you have anti-lock brakes, pump the brakes to slow or stop. To enter a gap in highway traffic? A. Watch only the vehicles behind the gap. B. Check behind you, then watch the vehicle ahead. C. Speed up and let the other vehicles make way. B. Check behind you, then watch the vehicle ahead. Whenever you want to change lanes or enter traffic, you must be sure that there are no vehicles in your way in the lane you want to enter. Always check for traffic to the side of and behind your vehicle before you change lanes. When double solid yellow lines separate lanes of traffic, 
A. Passing is permitted from the left. B. Passing is permitted from the right. C. Passing is not permitted from either direction. C. Passing is not permitted from either direction. Yellow lines separating lanes of traffic indicate that traffic is moving in opposite directions. Double solid lines indicate that passing is not permitted from either direction. If you find that the roadway ahead of you is flooded, you should A. Slam on the brakes. B. Not drive through the flooded area. Turn around and find another route. C. Drive only in the center of the roadway. B. Not drive through the flooded area. Turn around and find another route. Never attempt to drive on a flooded road. Even if the water looks shallow, it may hide many kinds of hazards. If you encounter a flooded area, turn around and seek another route to your destination. You are merging onto an interstate highway. You should A. Select a safe gap and merge into the lane of traffic. B. Merge across two lanes at once. C. Always stop before entering the highway. A. Select a safe gap and merge into the lane of traffic. Anytime you want to merge with other drivers, you need to find a gap large enough for you to safely enter into the flow of traffic. You should not stop on the entrance ramp to an interstate highway unless there are no gaps into which you may safely merge. You should yield to a pedestrian? A. Only if they are in a crosswalk. B. At all times, even if the pedestrian is not obeying traffic laws. C. Only if the traffic lights are in the pedestrian's favor. B. At all times, even if the pedestrian is not obeying traffic laws. Always be aware of pedestrians near your vehicle. You must do everything you can to prevent striking a pedestrian, regardless of the circumstances. This sign means A. You can travel in either direction in this lane. B. There is two way traffic. C. You are approaching a divided highway. B. There is two way traffic. This sign warns of two way traffic. If weather or light conditions require you to have your lights on while driving, a. Use your parking lights. B. Use your high beams. C. Use your low beams. C. Use your low beams. Use your low beam headlights when driving in foggy, snowy, or rainy conditions. Light from high beam headlights will reflect back, causing glare and making it even more difficult to see ahead. Under normal weather, road, and traffic conditions, maintain a minimum following distance of A. 1 second. B. 2 seconds. C. 3 seconds. C. 3 seconds. The more distance between your vehicle and others, the more time you will have to react if another driver makes a mistake. Maintain a minimum following distance of 3 seconds when driving under normal conditions. Increase your following distance when driving under unusual weather, road, or traffic conditions. This sign means A. Merge right. B. Divided highway begins. C. Lane ends. C. Lane ends. This sign indicates that the right lane ends ahead. A merging maneuver will be required for drivers in that lane. If you approach a flashing red traffic light, you A. Are traveling in the wrong direction. B. Must treat the intersection as if it is controlled by a stop sign. C. May not proceed until it changes to green. 
A red arrow pointing to the right on a traffic light means you may a. Turn in that direction after slowing and checking for traffic. b. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. c. Turn in that direction after you come to a complete stop. b. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. A red arrow means, stop. You must remain stopped until a green light or green arrow appears. Do not turn against a red arrow. What is an important step in turning? A. Check traffic in all directions. B. Increase your speed. C. Always move to the left lane. A. Check traffic in all directions. When turning, you should look to the rear and both sides of your vehicle to ensure it is safe to proceed before making the turn. Adjust your speed to safely complete the turn. You should increase the distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead when you a. are following a small passenger vehicle b. are being tailgated by another driver c. are driving more slowly than the posted speed limit. If you are driving near a large commercial vehicle, you should a. follow the large vehicle closely to reduce wind drag on your vehicle b. Avoid driving beside it for long stretches of time. C. Drive on its right side when on curves and hills. B. Avoid driving beside it for long stretches of time. Because large commercial vehicles have large blind spots on each side, you should avoid driving beside them for long periods of time. When used on roadways, bicycles are considered a. Hazards b. Vehicles c. Dangerous b. Vehicles Bicycles are considered vehicles when used on roadways. Bicyclists and motorists are expected to follow the same rules of the road. You are approaching an intersection at the posted speed limit when the signal turns yellow. You should a. Slow down and proceed through the intersection without caution. b. Speed up to cross the intersection before the light turns red. c. Stop before entering the intersection, if you can do so safely. c. Stop before entering the intersection, if you can do so safely. A solid yellow light means, caution, and signals that the light will soon turn red. You should stop at a solid yellow light if you can do so safely, otherwise, you should cautiously cross the intersection. You must yield the right of way to an emergency vehicle that is using its siren and flashing lights by a. Driving as closely to the right edge of the road as possible and stopping b. Moving into the right lane and driving slowly until it has passed. c. Stopping immediately, even if you are within an intersection. a. Driving as closely to the right edge of the road as possible and stopping. You must yield the right of way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren and flashing lights. Do this by driving to the right edge of the road and stopping, taking care not to stop in an intersection. You may move again after the emergency vehicle has passed. You hit a parked vehicle and can't find the owner. What must you do? A. Call your insurance company when you get home. B. Wait for the owner to return. C. Leave a note with your name and address on the parked vehicle. C. Leave a note with your name and address on the parked vehicle. If you hit a parked vehicle or other property, you must leave a note with your name, phone number, and address securely attached to the vehicle or property that you hit. This sign is a A. Service sign. 
B. Regulatory sign. C. Warning sign. C. Warning sign. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. There may be an upcoming change in traffic direction, a steep downgrade, or another potentially hazardous situation that requires action on the part of the driver. When passing on the left of a vehicle, it is safe to move back into the right lane? A. After about 3 seconds. B. When you can no longer see the vehicle over your right shoulder. C. When you can see the front of the vehicle in your rearview mirror. C. When you can see the front of the vehicle in your rearview mirror. When passing another vehicle on its left, you may move back into the right lane when the headlights of the past vehicle can be seen in your rearview mirror. Always signal before changing lanes. Should you always drive more slowly than other traffic? A. No, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. B. Yes, it is a good defensive driving technique. C. Yes, it is always safer than driving faster than other traffic. A. No, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. You must drive more slowly than usual when there is heavy traffic or bad weather. However, if you block the normal and reasonable movement of traffic by driving too slowly, you may be cited. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. No turning. C. No left turn. A. No U-turn. This sign indicates that you may not make a U-turn. You cannot turn around to go in the opposite direction at an intersection where this sign is posted. You reach an intersection with stop signs on all four corners at the same time as the driver on your left. Who has the right of way? A. The driver on your left has the right of way. B. You have the right of way. C. Whoever is signaling to make a turn has the right of way. B. You have the right of way. If two vehicles arrive at the same time to an intersection that has stop signs on all corners, the vehicle to the right has the right of way. This road sign means A. Do not enter. B. No parking. C. No U-turn. C. No U-turn. This sign prohibits drivers from making a U-turn. You cannot turn around to go in the opposite direction at an intersection where this sign is posted. Drivers turning left must yield to A. Oncoming vehicles traveling straight or turning right. B. Passing cars. C. No one in particular. A. Oncoming vehicles traveling straight or turning right. Drivers making a left turn must yield to all vehicles approaching from the opposite direction. This includes bicycles and motorcycles. Double solid yellow lane markings mean that A. Neither lane may pass. B. Both lanes may pass. C. The lane to the right may pass. A. Neither lane may pass. Yellow lane markings indicate a separation of lanes where traffic is traveling in opposite directions. When you see double solid yellow lane markings, passing is prohibited from both directions. <laughs>